Was the switch really worth it? What's up, beautiful people? TJ here with another video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. Today's video is going to be about the switch from a business Instagram account to a creator uh, Instagram account. So I've had a bunch of messages come through asking me different questions about the creator's account. And I wanted to kind of give my thought process on the difference between the business Instagram account and the creator Instagram account, and maybe why you would choose one over the other. So I've had the uh, creator account for a little bit over a month now, and I've noticed a few things. So uh, I wanna start off by saying that I don't believe that the creator account helps you grow any faster, any quicker um, than the business account or a personal account. All the creator account really does is it accumulates data in a different way, and it, it, it shows you data in a different way. So if you go back to your personal account, you can see, you know, things like uh, who liked your photos. Um, you can see who follows you, who unfollows you. Um, but it's all just kept on like a, a, a one line basis. You can't really go in depth with the data. So when you get a business Instagram account, you can go kind of in depth into the data. You can look at um, how many people clicked on your profile, how many people took an action on your account, uh, how many people purchased your product. You can actually link your Facebook pages. You can link um, products from your Facebook page or from like a Shopify store or something and sell it exactly, or you can sell it right to Instagram. Um, you know, it's a bunch of different business things that you can do. Uh, you, it really pushes the promotion. Now, one thing that I did notice from switching from a personal account to a business account was that my engagement went down a little bit and i believe this is just in my mind I, I don't know this for a fact but i believe that instagram looks at a business profile as a profile that runs ads so they're going to um, lower your amount of of impressions because they want you to purchase ads um, it makes perfect business sense for instagram or facebook but for us you know you post a picture and or a video and you don't see that much engagement, um, you know, and then they push, okay, you need to promote this post, you need to promote this post because they want that income uh, or they want that revenue. So I switched from a business account back to a personal account and I saw my engagement kind of go back to what it was before. So that was my big push from going from a business account to a personal account. Now, when this creator account popped up, I said, you know what, I'll give it a try. I saw a few videos on it and I said, you know, I won't, you don't want to have anything to lose. So right around the time that I switched from my personal account to my creator account, I got a follow block. We'll talk about follow block uh, here in just a minute. So once I switched from my personal account to um, the creator account, uh, I did notice a dip in my followers. Now, before we go into the follow block and all that different, all that different stuff, I'll talk about how you can use the creator uh, account data to see to monitor your growth. So one of the biggest perks that I see is that I can look and click on each day and see exactly what I posted on which day and what kind of activity I got from that post. So I went through right before this video and I looked at my last seven days and I looked and to see, you know, if I had any kind of dips or any kind of uh, peaks or valleys. Um, in my data. So I did have a little bit of a peak and then it kind of went down a little bit. So I clicked on that peak day and I saw that I had posted five pieces of content. I had uh, three videos and two pictures that I posted on that day. What was different between that day and the other six days was that that was a five post day. The rest of the days was a four post day. So I actually got more engagement, more follows, less unfollows when I had more content that I put out there. Um, Another thing I looked at was I had a day where my unfollows kind of peaked. It wasn't like a big peak, but it was just a little bit of a peak. When I clicked on it, what I posted was not a my normal uh, dog photo. Now, of course, I'm talking about my pets page. So um, normally I post pictures of like dogs, cats, different things like that. Um, but I actually posted a picture of it was some pigs or something, something like that. And actually, my unfollow my unfollows peaked just a little bit. It wasn't much, but it was just a little bit. So I believe that the creator account is really focused on you looking at the content that you're creating and really curating content that your audience wants to see 
and Instagram will push your content if they see that people are reacting to your content. So, you know, if you have a video and it goes viral or not even viral, if it goes, uh, does a lot better than what you did, Instagram will promote that and you will see that and then you will post more content like that. Um, so that's the idea behind the creator account. It's more focused on content versus the business side of it. Now, what I didn't realize and what I didn't notice is that so if you have like a Facebook business page and you connect it with your Instagram account, you can do that still with the creator account. However, um, without having that business account, you actually cannot link any kind of merchandise. So it, like my Pets for Lit page, I do sell shirts and I don't sell a lot of shirts on there, but I do sell some merchandise on there. But I don't have any way to link my merchandise to my Instagram account with the creator account. Also, you can't do that with the personal account. That was one of the big pushes to go to a business account. However, you do have to take the hit on people not actually, um, people not actually being able, to, being able to see your post because Instagram is looking at your post as a business post or an ad and they're not gonna push your post. They want you to pay for promotions. Um, so that's why I switched back from a, uh, switch from a business account to a personal account and then from a personal account to a creator account. Now, I will say that I do enjoy seeing all the data. I'm a data kind of focused guy. So I, I like being able to see the data and seeing what my posts are actually doing and what actions people are taking based on the, the content that I'm posting. Um, because I'm, I didn't really make this account to you know be like a big, huge like merchandise. Now maybe it, it may turn into that, but right now I just really want to focus on the growth. And if you go back to my first video when I talked about me starting um, to start this influencer account, that was the big push was I just wanted to see which account would grow if you had like a niche account and you didn't really have any content to post, but um, you, you did it in a way that brought people in. All right, so now let's talk about follow block. So if you have been watching any of these Instagram videos, uh, you know that I use a program called Jarvee to post my content. Now, what it does is it reposts content. I have it follow, I have it unfollow, and I also have it like different posts. Now, if you have a Jarvee set up and it is following unfollow, so this is the way that a lot of pages grow. They follow, unfollow, follow, unfollow. Now, what I did on my account was I would follow, unfollow. However, I would not unfollow if the person that I followed actually engaged with my content on three different posts. So that means if, if somebody is engaging with me or engaging with my content, I'll keep following them. I'll, I'll stay following them. And if they don't, you know, if they follow my page, but they don't interact with any of my content for three days, which that's normally in three days, I post about 15 pieces of content. So they haven't liked or anything, any of my content for three days, it will automatically unfollow. Um, so this was done all through Jarvee. I don't do this manually. This is all done automatically. So what that did was I have a highly engaged um, kind of network of people. And actually you do start forming relationships with these people because you see their content, they see your content, you like their content. Um, you know, you're mentioning them, they're mentioning you. Um, and they look at you as a real person. So it kind of takes the robotics out of it, even though I'm not on my Instagram page 90% of the time, it's, it's automatic. Um, but I do know a lot of the people that follow and engage my content. So uh, they put a follow block on me, Instagram did, uh, about maybe a week and a half ago, and it's been lifted. However, I think this was like um, Instagram saying they're putting their foot down and they really want people to be real and they don't want people to use robots and they don't want people um, kind of messing with the algorithm of Instagram. So my thoughts on this is that I understand exactly where they're coming from. Uh, because whenever I create content, I do want it to be authentic. I do want real people talking to me. I don't want a whole bunch of robots interacting with my content. I want real people interacting with it. Um, so what I did was I went on Jarvee, I stopped the follow, unfollow. And what I've noticed is my followings went way down. So at first I thought, I said, oh no, I've crashed my account. This is it, I won't grow anymore. Uh, so it's gonna stay stagnant. I've got 31,000. Uh, followers and I said this that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna get anymore. So what I did notice is crazy But I actually saw a really huge dip in my follows But then I started seeing it climb back up and now it's actually about 70% of what I used to have and I'm not doing follow on follow um, so I think this push is what I needed to kind of get out of the the robotics of it and I think I will have a more lively page because the people 
uh, will see me follow them organically and not just because, um, you know, my robot told it to go and, and follow people. So that's all I want to say today about the Instagram and Instagram creator account. If you are thinking about making a switch, if you do have the option, I think you have to have at least 10,000 um, followers on Instagram to try this account. I say try it, give it a month um, just to see how you like it and see if, if you like the way that you can see the data. Um, but I will tell you, I don't think it makes you grow anymore and I don't think it makes people engage with, the con with your content more. What it does is it just organizes the data in a way where you know and understand what your audience actually wants to see. So if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I release new videos. Thanks guys.